Very sturdy, you know what I mean? Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Dormammu Build-A-Figure Waves Doctor Strange Movies Carl Mordo. If you're trying to pick this up, you can get it. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Alright, so Carl Mordo, not my favorite character from the movie, but anyway, uh, looking on the side right there, you can see Carl Mordo right over there, and then on the back, you can see the figure. The other figures from the wave, there's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And on that side, we get Mordo again, and then we get the Sanctum Sanctorum logo right at the top, and not much more at the bottom. All right, let's get to it and grab it now. And here's Carl Mordo out of the packaging and broken already. I broke this figure rather quickly. Uh, I can't say I'm the biggest fan, and you can see that skirt is ripped right over there from me trying to bend his leg. I also had broken my 12 inch Spider Man figure, by the way, from Hasbro. This broke during that big time letdown stop motion thing that I did last week. Yeah, very unfortunate so I sung this figure's praises and now it's broken and that's broken as well so yeah I'm a little salty right now but anyway uh, the Carl Mordo figure doesn't look too bad overall I mean I have that rip right over there the articulation's not too shabby so there's not a whole lot to complain about it I'm not a huge fan of the way the character was portrayed in the film so honestly I'm not really excited about this thing so he comes with one accessory and that's his bow staff over here and it looks pretty good you can see little bits of wood grain sculpted in there it doesn't look too bad. It's just mostly a solid black piece of plastic over here, so eh, it's not too shabby. I can't really complain about this. I do wish he had some kind of storage though on his back. I remember seeing some kind of storage weapon on his back during the movie, and he holds it pretty fine. You know, both of these hands work out pretty well. And if you did want him using the magic effects that came with the Doctor Strange figure, you can get him holding that fairly easy, so that works if you want to set that up too. So here's a look at the Chuatel head sculpt. Not looking too bad at all. I think they did a pretty good job on this. Looks pretty dead on to me. I think it looks just like him. I still want him to say Young Miss. Young Miss? Young Miss? I don't know. Anyway, look at the hair right over here. It looks okay. There's some black paint missing right over there. And on this side, you can see some paint. Wow, it looks all pixelated kind of or graphed. So, yeah, they did miss a little bit of paint. And I don't know about the hair sculpt itself. I feel like it's, I don't know, it's just, just a little bit weird. Like, I don't know, the, the way it came out on the uh, on the Black Panther figure, head sculpt, on the alternate head sculpt for Black Panther, I think it looked a little more accurate. But, I don't know, it looks a little bit more wavy. But, anyway... Now, looking at the, the costume and everything and his wardrobe, it looks pretty good. You can see a little bit like this marbleization type stuff. Or it's not marbleization, but these little kinks in the plastic right over there. Uh, it's a bit annoying when you have all these nice little details running throughout. So, nice detailed sculpted lines and stuff like that coming throughout over here. I dig that. And then you do get some nice shadowing effect right over here on these bands on his forearms. I think that looks really good. I like that a lot, even though it looks a little unintentional because you're getting that kind of graft look, kind of like how he did on the side of his on his sideburns right there. So that's I don't know that, that may not be intentional. Get a little bit of rope right over there on the forearm and then on this side, we've got some nice wrinkles and again straps looking pretty good. Hands look alright. We have some veins on the back of the hands. And looking right over here, you can see the tear. So that's where I ripped it. So if you weren't able to, I mean, really, having limited articulation bumps me out, and I really wish that they used a much softer material for the skirt. That bothers me. Looking on the back, though, it looks really cool. Again, I like all the sculpted lines and all that stuff. It's more rope. Yep, got more rope right over there. So, you know, it doesn't look too bad. A little tassels sculpted in there and everything. A lot of different colors on this. So it doesn't look too shabby. It's just, you know, again, just the stiff skirt just really bothers me the most. So, I don't know. For some reason, I'm, I'm kind of happy I ripped this just because it makes it easier to move his legs. So, the articulation segment's going to be uh, probably a little off just because most people's aren't going to be ripped like that. If you did rip yours in the same place, please let me know in the comments, though. Looking at the boots, what are these the boots of Voltar or something like that? Voltag? Uh, not Volstag, but Voltar, I think he said, but these look really nice, and I'm glad that they added this shiny paint right here, kind of making them stand out a little bit, because this was a cool thing. And then if you wanted to add some effects, you know what I mean, I did this, I took some pictures and stuff, added some effects to the bottom of the boots, you know. I can't find the ones that came with the Iron Man figure, the orange ones, but still I think it's cool that you can have some fun with these. So for the articulation, you can get Mordo's head moving all the way up, and it does move 
down, you get side to side movement over here, not much head pivot at all really, just a little bit of wiggle. Uh, you get the shoulder joints that move outward that far, you can't move them forward, he has biceps, well, well double jointed elbows. Uh, these double joints don't work that great, well, that's not actually too bad, I was going to say it was on this side really, where it seemed restricted, but this lower joint of the two elbow joints doesn't move as much as this one right over here, so, but it still bends in fairly well, it's not too bad, right? Anyway, you get wrist rotation, on the left hand you get the roll of the dice motion, so it moves side to side. On the right side, it moves up and down. You get this kind of odd mid-torso joint right over here. It's not quite at the diaphragm. It's just like right in the middle of the abs right over there. So it turns side to side and it looks kind of weird sometimes. Uh, it does pivot some and then it does move forward that much and it does move back that much. You get hip joints that will see this is kind of tricky because I kind of ruined the figure already, but without stretching this part that I had already broken, I guess it moves outward that much. And then looking at just the left leg, it moves forward that far. Uh, he has uh, rotation at the upper thighs. He has double jointed knees. No boot rotation on this one. He has angles that move down. They do move up only a little bit, and he does have ankle pivot. And on this side right over here, if I try to hold this, I mean, this is just incredibly limiting on this right side. So that's basically how that broke. And then here's Mordo at his widest stance possible with both feet still flat on the floor, which is not very far. Now I guess the only size comparison that matters with this figure is the movie Doctor Strange figure. I really wish he was the main villain of the movie, but anyway, hopefully we get a comic version of Mordo. We can compare Mordo next to Malcolm from Firefly, so if you wanted some customizing going on over here, you can do that. And then here's Carl Mordo next to the Marvel Legends big time no letdown Spider-Man. Hey, that skirt's kind of a letdown. Let me help you with that. <laughs> right in the balls. And then he just call Mordo on a Mafex stand along with some flame effects from the War Machine figure from Toy Biz. And I thought that looks pretty cool. You know, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. I liked that part where he's all bouncing off the air with his boots of Voltar or whatever. So that's pretty cool. I hope to see more Mordo in future Marvel movies. If you'd already seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to give away any spoilers right now. But uh, yeah, man, uh, as far as the figure goes, I just think it's okay. You know, not a big time letdown or anything. It's just that skirt over there and the lack of leg articulation. They really should use soft material for the skirts on these figures. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you want to stick around, there will be a subscribe circle over there in one of my previous videos right down over here. If you want to go ahead and check out a photo gallery of images, it's over at MarvelousNews.com. You can also follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Carl Mordo next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man.